a very good evening to all of you uh, though the introduction was very motivational to me believe me i am no motivational speaker as compared to the previous speakers i am just a cancer surgeon so the most i talk to is a patient under anesthesia because 10 of my 24 hours are spent in a room which has no window and a patient is lying under anesthesia so believe me when i say that i am not a motivational speaker but and that is why the ignite your potential is uh, even more igniting your potential and igniting my potential as a speaker i'll just twist the topic to igniting your potential igniting a potential of intelligent community igniting a potential of intelligent audience for understanding cancer as a treatable disease because when i say cancer it is always frowned upon there is a very infamous saying amongst us famous saying in the community that cancer means cancer that cancer is not treatable cancer makes your life miserable cancer treatment is not possible and it is a lost cause so when i told that i want to become a cancer surgeon few of my relatives asked that why are you going for a losing battle the battle is already lost why are you going for it and i have to explain till this date that cancer is treatable and that is why uh, when rekha ma'am asked me to be a part of this tedx event as a speaker i thought that it is a very good chance for me to make you understand that cancer is not as dangerous as it seems to be i agree that cancer treatment is difficult cancer treatments are vigorous they are they take 3 6 10 months one year out of your life you don't have any active life for 6 months imagine that but i would also say that life after cancer is life better is better than life with cancer when you live with cancer suppose you have oral cancer you will have bleeding from mouth you will have fungating ulcers you won't be able to eat you won't be able to have food you won't be able to go out that is a miserable life yes after cancer treatment there will be some facial disfigurement there will be some morbidity you will not be leading a normal life or to 100% potential of yours but it will still be better when you had cancer so what is cancer cancer is uncontrolled growth of uh, cells in a part of our body that is not following the commands that body is sending to it there are various treatments for cancer surgery that is cutting out the cancer from body chemotherapy just to simplify give you some injections to cure cancer and radiation therapy uh, giving some high energy radiation to cancer so that the cancer cells are killed now what are the common symptoms of cancer i'll just be discussing common myths those are prevalent in our community regarding cancer one of the most prevalent myth is that cancer is not curable i said that it is treatable these are the treatments available for cancer what are the common symptoms of cancer now you'll say that why are you talking about cancer why is cancer so important why do you need to address a public forum with boring facts regarding cancer because the data suggests that one in eight individual in, in current indian population will have cancer in his or her lifetime so you can imagine the incidence if we are roughly 4 uh, 400 sitting here almost 50 out of us i don't wish that it should happen but it is a fact that almost 50 out of us would have cancer in our lifetime and if i can change one of those 50 lives this talk is worth it and that will ignite the potential in community to fight against cancer to make community understand that cancer is treatable to detect cancer early to take treatment on time because we have patients coming in in stage 3 stage 4 who have fungating mass on his cheek for last 6 months and they don't take treatment why i don't understand 
data suggests that 70% of cancer patients that we treat in India currently are in stage 3 or stage 4. It is a fact that cancer when detected in stage 1 or stage 2 is easily treatable, gives better results, the quality of life is better after treatment, the duration of life, the longevity of life is better after treatment. Versus when we treat it in stage 3 and 4, the quality of life is poorer, the survival is dismal, the prognosis is very poor. And that is why cancer is infamous, because we do not treat early patients, how will we get good results? And that is why we need to know basic symptoms of cancer in adult population as well as pediatric population. In adult population, currently in India, the most common cancer is breast cancer. And as we all know, the commonest symptom of breast cancer is feeling of a lump in breast. We are so ashamed to talk about our own health that we do not discuss it in communities. A cancer surgeon talking about cancer in a public forum is the most boring thing the organizer might think. But I think all of you are very motivated as you have left the India Australia final at home and come here to uh, listen to us. And I will just drag this a bit and enumerate the symptoms a bit so that you have just a fair bit of idea of early symptoms of cancer. So any irregularity in breast, any discharge from nipple, any asymmetry between both breasts when you look at mirror, when you raise hands, that is a, that can be a sign of cancer. I am not saying that it is sure shot cancer, but that can be a sign of cancer. And then you should get yourself checked from a specialist, you should get yourself examined. If needed, you can uh, get tested. There is a simple test called memosonography, which detects breast cancer in early stage. Guidelines suggest that it should be done in every woman above 40 years of age in at every year, but we do not follow it. If we do not do it every year, at least we can do it uh, in some frequency, every 2 years, every 3 years or when the symptoms are suggestive that there is some problem with your breast. The next most common cancer we treat in our part of world because the addiction of tobacco and pan masala gutka is very prevalent is oral cancer. Oral cancer uh, patients are almost 50 percent patients uh, from the population the, that we treat with surgery because surgery is the commonest and first treatment for oral cancer. Now symptoms of oral cancer are just ulcer in mouth, bleeding from mouth, difficulty in swallowing, there is some change in voice, there are some lump in your neck, those are the signs uh, that might be suggestive of oral cancer. Now this was about adult population, two common cancers that we uh, see day in day out and treat the patients of stage 3, 4 daily. I just want to, uh, I just want you to take a mental note of these symptoms and just note that if any of your relatives, any of your uh, contacts or yourself have these symptoms, you should get yourself checked from the specialist. Now even more concerned population is the pediatric population, because in that population there are no specific symptoms of a particular cancer. Some people might not even know that cancer exists in pediatric patients. But believe me, we have treated patients from 1 year of age to 85 years of age. So it can occur even in a 1 year kid and we have to treat it. What are the commonest cancers that we see in pediatric population? Those are blood cancers, brain cancers. Uh, some swelling arising from liver, some swelling arising from kidney and those are treatable. It is just that we have to identify them early. What are the symptoms those might suggest that this might be the symptoms of cancer? Easy fatigability, the kid tires out very easily through the day, does not have meals properly, just refuses to get up from bed has fever, unexplained fever for 2-3 weeks. Now, not that every kid who is having fever is having cancer, but if you are having fever or unexplained symptoms for two, more than 2-3 weeks, you have taken regular treatments, you have consulted physicians, you have 
done enough uh, array of tests and nothing is made out, then you should think that this is something unusual and you should think about cancer. This is enough, just thinking about cancer is enough, do not uh, be in a denial that if I do not think about cancer, I will not have cancer, that is not a fact. Many patients who come to us with ulcer in their mouth for 4 months refuse to do a biopsy that is the diagnostic test for cancer because they believe that they do not have cancer. Sahib, I do cancer, I do biopsy. Why do I do cancer? Why do I do biopsy? And I need 15 minutes counselling to make that human understand that please sir, get your biopsy done because believe me from my clinical experience this is cancer and still many patients refuse they come back after two months with ulcer from their cheek bleeding from their cheek difficulty of having food for last 10 days it is a miserable situation i don't like to talk about this in public forum but when you sit in a opd full of cancer patients life is not very entertaining it is depressing it is the fact of our life and we have to face it and to improve it we have to make uh, cancer awareness a prevalent knowledge in general community. We have to have more courageous organizers like Podar World School who invite cancer surgeons to give boring talks on cancer awareness because how will However, will be your motivation in life if cancer strikes you, if you go through cancer treatment, it is definitely going to break you down. It is not an easy treatment. Uh, using, uh, losing 50 percent of your face through a surgery and uh, plastic surgery done, still it is not 100 percent identical to your previous face. Is it just like losing an identity? How will you have that confidence and that is why it is necessary that you get treated early, get the surgery done early so that major resections are not required. Same with breast cancer, Remo get, getting your breast removed, appearing in a public forum is a courageous task. If you detect breast cancer early, there are surgeries available well where we can remove only the part of cancer that is in breast and preserve the rest of the breast. So, there are lot of advances, believe me nowadays the focus of cancer treatment, the center stage is quality of life, not the survival, we have passed that because there are enough treatments of cancer available, various surgeries, even robotic surgeries are now available at our center, chemotherapies, targeted therapy, targeting particular genetic abnormality that is causing cancer, radiation therapy, very advanced techniques of radiations, electron beam, proton beam. So, we are past that, we, are, we have enough armamentarium against cancer, but we still are not able to achieve the quality of life we want to. The cancer patient's life is still difficult after treatment and that is one of the commonest reason why patient refuses cancer treatment. It is very prevalent knowledge in community that if a patient receives cancer treatment, uh, his or her life is very miserable and we need to change that. We have breast conserving surgeries available. We have uh, advanced microvascular reconstructions for facial defects. We have limb salvage surgeries with multiple implants for limb cancers. We have robotic surgeries, laparoscopic cancer surgeries for avoiding a scar on your abdomen or thorax when there is cancer in there. We have many medications to control the side effects of chemotherapy, targeted therapy. So, we are aiming at good quality of life provided we have a community who is ready to understand that we uh, need to detect cancer early, we need to be aware about it, we need to spread awareness about it. For oral cancer detection, you just need a glove and a torch, you do not need any test, there is no cost, you just need to go to a specialist, he will screen you with a torch and glove and that is done. For breast cancer, it is a 500, 700 rupee test and even offered free by government. For colon cancer, it is just a endoscopy. Those are basic tests that we even do for other problems. So, it is not that something uh, 
drastic has to change about the way we think. Uh, when we have fever, we go to doctor. When we have uh, headaches, we go to doctor. Then why not go to doctor when we have ulcer in our mouth or lump in our breast? That is what needs to change. I will just say that being a cancer surgeon uh, and this is from my last talk at Podar World School where I uh, delivered a talk on pediatric cancer. One student I think uh, she was here on stage asked me whether you dissociate yourself from patients emotions when you treat them and I like that question very much because being a cancer surgeon it is very difficult to dissociate myself from the emotions of cancer patient. The sole earning member of family who has cancer is losing his active life for 6 months. The cancer treatment is causing, costing them lakhs of rupees. There are children who are awaiting education, there are children who are awaiting marriage. They do not know whether they will be at, uh, alive to attend uh, their children's marriage or not. They do not know whether they will be arrive, uh, alive to attend their children's graduation next year. So, it is difficult to dissociate my, uh, dissociate emotionally from cancer patients. We do understand that cancer patients journey is very difficult. It is an uphill task and doctors are at every step we are with them in understanding their pain, in understanding their problem, bettering their quality of life. And if any of you uh, anytime feel that there is something called cancer hovering around us, Feel free to reach me, I will be uh, very happy to help. Thank you.